grace and peace from God our Father and from our Lord Jesus Christ. For today's short meditation, let's meditate on the letter of Paul to the Philippians chapter 4 verse 11. I have learned to be content in every circumstances. Let us look to the Lord in prayer. Heavenly Father, you have ordained this time for us to listen to your word. Equip our mind and quicken our hearts to hear your words and touch our hearts. Let your words reach the areas that needs to be touched. Therefore, Holy Spirit rest upon us. Holy Spirit guide us. Holy Spirit possess us. In the mighty name of Jesus we pray. Amen. We watch advertisements and only after watching the advertisements, we realize we fall short of something in life. A man uses shaving cream not to shave his beard or mustache. Rather, he wants to look like the man in the advertisement and always thinks, what can make me look like that man? In the same way, a beautiful woman uses facial applications because she believes she lacks something. If we live according to the advertisements, we will be comparing our lifestyles with others and that will promote dissatisfaction with our lives. Discontentment stems from sin of ingratitude and lack of faith. On the contrary, contentment frees you to enjoy every good thing God has given you. A contented heart opens no door for wants. Well, over time what I have learned is advertisements makes you feel more empty and you realize it's a lie until you buy it. We look at the life of our first parents, Adam and Eve. They started to think the moment Satan started to speak. And the more they heard, the more they started to think. And the more they thought, Satan kept feeding them with all lies. Adam and Eve started to dream on that lies of Satan. We need to know what makes us think. Well, as long as Adam and Eve was with God, both Adam and Eve enjoyed life. Adam and Eve were contented with all their needs and the needs that God provided. The moment Satan stepped in the midst of Adam and Eve, Satan took them to chase their wants. If you are thinking, you need to know, are you with God or are you with Satan? I certain times I start thinking. When I find myself sitting idle, and what I do is I keep reciting the psalm every time I sit idle because I don't allow Satan to feed me with lies. Well, this is in my case. In your case, do something that is of interest so that you will stop sitting idle. Well, what I do is I certain times I sit, I do a mock sermon and that engages me rather than sitting idle. A person who prays according to the promise of God is a person who has learned to be content with their needs. So learn to be in the presence of God and you will always learn to be contented. And the more you engage in the word of God, you will experience God talking to you. And the more God speaks, the more you will experience peace. Make it a plan to practice sitting with the God. I know it will be very hard, but make it a practice and see the joy that you experience. You will never feel like staying away from the presence of God. God bless you all. Have a great day. In Jesus' name. Amen.